in the last day in tps activity we have discussed about the prims algorithm now today in this video we will learn how to find out the minimum spanning tree by using prims algorithm so we will find out a problem and solve that problem how we can get the minimum spanning tree by using prims algorithm What is minimum spanning tree? A minimum spanning tree of graph is a tree that has all the vertices of the graph connected by same edges. A graph can have one or more number of spanning trees. Among those spanning trees, we have to find out which one is the minimum one. Before we start, I request all of you, please take some paper and pen and solve this problem with me. This will help you understanding the algorithm. We consider this graph. Here in this graph, A, B, C and D are four vertices and these are the different edges and this graph is a undirected graph and it's a weighted graph. Now what we will do is first we will remove all the parallel edges between two vertices except the one with the least weight and we remove the loops now now we are ready to find out the minimum spanning tree from this graph Okay, please draw this graph in a separate paper. Then we will be calculating the minimum spanning tree. Now we will create a table. So here there are four vertices. So we will make a table with A, B, C, D as the column name and A, B, C, D as the row name. And we will populate this table. Now, uh, here this represents the DB edge and so on. Now, this node A is, this AA we put 0 because this is only connected between the same node. So, similarly, we put 0 here, we put 0 here, we put 0 here. Now, A and B is connected with the edge with weight 5. Okay. And here, A and C is connected with 10. Okay. So, which one is the minimum one? It's 5. Now, the active node will become A and B. Then, we will check all the nodes. And we will find out these weights. And we will put these weights. A and C is connected with the edge with weight 10. And now since A and B are not directly connected, so we put infinity here. So in this way, we populate the table. So we fill 10 here. So AC and CA will be 10. And BC and CB will be 4. And db, what will be the value of db? That will be 11. So, we will put 11 here. We will populate the table in this way. So, what will be here in dc? dc will be 5. So, here it will be 5. Here it will be 5. 
It's clear? Next, the table is populated. Now, the starting node is A. So, we have to find out the minimum spanning tree from this graph. And you should keep in mind that this is an undirected weighted graph. Now, from this row, we will not consider 0. Okay. So, except 0, which one is the minimum one? So, minimum one is 5 here. So, 5 is the smallest value in this row. So, that's, that 5 means A, B. So, we will connect 8 with B. We will mark here. So, this is, since this is undirected, so A, B and B, A will be same. We will put the same value here. We will mark these two positions. Then, these two A and B will be the active vertices. Then, we have to find out which one will be the minimum one. So, from this table, we can find out that the minimum one is this 4. So, Next, we will connect B to C. So, now these active vertices will be A, B and C. Similarly, we marked 4 here and in this position we mark 4. So, next we have to find out which one will be the minimum one. So, here in this row we find out that 5 is the minimum weight. So, we choose this one. This is the node D. So, we connect D here. With C to D, we connect this one. Okay. So, we have marked all the four, four nodes or vertices. So, we have to stop here. So, we get the minimum spanning tree with edges 5, 4 and 5. So, the total cost will be 14. So, we get the minimum spanning tree by using PRIMS algorithm.